Hey there YouTubers, Big Mo here with another statue review. Today I thought we'd look at the new Princess Leia from Sideshow. Now this is a premium format piece. What I mean by that is it's quarter scale. Sideshow released her at the end of 2019 and I got her delivered about four weeks ago. I think she looks fantastic. I'm, I'm really happy Sideshow did another Princess Leia. They did one about 10 years ago, a uh, very similar piece. So I'm glad to finally have one in my collection. So I thought we'd uh, have a bit of a close look. So they made 3,000 pieces altogether. They did 1,000 in the exclusive edition and they did 2,000 in the collector's edition. This is the exclusive edition. Now with the exclusive edition, you get her holding the Death Star plans, which are right here. So if you remember at the end of Rogue One, uh, the end scene, you see them escaping from Darth Vader and you see Princess Leia holding the Death Star plans, which then of course leads into episode four. So I think it's a nice little um, addition for the exclusive. Uh, whenever I see this piece, I think of the end of Rogue One, and of course, I also think of episode four. So what we'll do is we'll start at the base, we'll have a good look at the base. So they've got her posi uh, positioned on the tentive. And what I like about this base, I'll get it nice and close. You can see some nice weathering on here. You can see some splotches of grease. So I think they've done a good job with that. The finish on this is very similar to the life-size pieces I've got of K2SO and R2-D2. It's got the same splosh uh, finishes on the base, so I like that they've been consistent with that. You've also got the tubing uh, on the bottom of the ship, which is good. Let's turn her around, have a bit of a look at the back. So you get this piece of the ship as well at the back. So this just slides on. But of course, we all, we know this. This is the iconic moment where she's uploading the Death Star plans into R2-D2. Again, you've got some tubing and piping down the bottom there. So yeah, the, the base is interesting. Um, I like it. I think, they, I think they did a good job with the base. Now, as far as the pose goes, I don't think there were too many options that Sideshow had with posing Leia. Um, and I think what they've done is they've played it safe. This is the scene, as we all know, uh, when we see her in the beginning. She's holding her blaster, which I love. We all love Leia's blaster. So the pose is nice. It's good. It's subtle. Um, and like I said, I don't think they had too many options with the pose. So if we look at her boots, so her boots are slightly weathered. I'll just lift the skirt up a little bit and you can see some details in the boots. So you see the wrinkling they did down the bottom? I think that's, uh, that looks really good with the stripes on the side, a little bit of weathering. And you've look at the boot at the back. She's got a, they've got a slight lift with the boot. So uh, I think that looks good too, rather than being flat footed. So this is mixed media. What I mean by mixed media is it's, um, this is made out of PVC. So the statue itself is pretty light. And of course you've got the, the, the material. So they've gone um, with a nice white silk. It's really light. You can mould it. Um, but yeah, it's got a nice flow to it. And we go up to a belt. So they've got a leather, leather belt here. There are her hands. I think the hands look really good. The hands um, move. I had to flex the fingers out to get the blaster in. So I had to physically put that finger in the trigger hole. Um, but I think that's the advantage with PVC, um, just that flexibility, which is really good. I think those hands look pretty real, don't they? 
That's the hand with the Death Star plan. Now let's have a look at the portrait. Now, Sideshow's portraits can be hit and miss. I think this one's a hit. They've done a good job with the portrait. That is definitely Princess Leia. I love her nose, her lips. Really nice shine to the cheeks. The hair looks fantastic. I I'm definitely saying this is a hit for Sideshow. And really, I don't think you'd want to stuff up one of the most iconic characters in movie history, would you? So I'm glad they took their time and they, they've done a pretty good portrait with Leia. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. So all up, if I had to rate this statue out of 10, I'd be looking at between an eight and, eight and a nine, I'd say. I'm glad to have this in my collection. I think she looks fantastic. The white really pops. What you find with most statues, you know, they, they can be quite dark and heavy, um, but she just pops in the white. So she'll look good in the collection. If you are sitting on the fence with this piece, um, you don't need to. I would go out and get it. If you, need a, if you need a Princess Leia in a premium format, this is the definitive one for now. So the next piece I'll be reviewing coming up will be Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, that's the new premium format from Sideshow. He's due out in a few weeks. So as soon as I get him, I'll do an unboxing and I'll, um, I'll review him for you. I'm looking forward to getting him because I don't have an Obi-Wan Kenobi. So let me know in the comments what you think of the portrait, what you think of the piece. I'm a fan. I think Sideshow... Knock this one out of the park. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this vid. If you did, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up. And I'll have many more reviews coming up later this year. Thanks for watching.